Welcome into the final football frenzy of the year. I'm AJ Feldman. She's Rachel Libert. It's the end of the road, the season of the Briggs. Four championships on the line, and we start our night in Class A. Canandaigua winners of four out of the last five titles, taking on undefeated Brighton, still seeking their first ever championship after a runner-up finish last year. The Bruin faithful trying to will their team to victory. Very first drive of the game, Gray Wolves marching down the field. Drew Willamy corkscrews his way into the end zone for a 7-0 Canada will lead. Late second quarter, Gray Wolves trying to add to their lead. Willamy gets hit as he throws by Matthew Heininger. Picked off by Quayanu McDermott for the interception. Brighton holds and it's 7-0 at the break. First drive of the second half, Brighton finally showing life on offense. Gavin Parks brushing off tackles, 26 yards for the touchdown. We are tied up at seven. End of the third now, Canandaigua punting. Noah Wagner gets a few blocks, weaving through the defenders. A big gain, a big return, 67 yards into Gray Wolf's territory. Brighton back in business. Start of the fourth, Heininger, the direct snap into the end zone, and the Bruins have their first lead of the game. Same score, five minutes left. Brighton just needing a first to ice the game, trying to run out the clock. And Parks has a better idea. Up the sideline for the 83-yard game ceiling, history ceiling touchdown for Brighton. They get the win 28-7, their first championship in program history. The amount of players that we've had play for us and our staff and all the, all the years of not winning it, getting so close three times before this one, and to be able to pull it off, it's not just for these kids, but it's for everybody who's ever put on a uniform, and so this is a really special one. Just a blessing. Just be able to come out here and play as hard as I can, extend the season one more week with the people I've grown up with and played football with my whole life, so it's really just a blessing. I think we just have such good chemistry and such good confidence. I was saying before the game, I'd put my house on this game. Like, I just knew we were going to win, and the whole team had that energy. It just means so much. Like I said, it's just a memory I'll never forget. So I'm so thankful. Now to the Class C title game, top-seeded East Rochester Gananda versus number three, Leroy Kalma. In the first, Bombers looking to get on the board. Short rush by C.D. Sneed does it. ERG up 6 to nothing. Closing out the quarter, Ben Newman looking to pass, but he decides to take it himself. Reaches for the end zone, and he gets it. ERG extends their lead 14 to zip. Bombers put on another in the second, but the rivals have an answer. QB sneak from Brady McClurg puts Leroy Kalmung on the board with six, but the Bombers offense does it again. Newman puts it up, finds Noah Mather. Spin move to avoid the tackle, but he's not done. He makes a miss again for the touchdown. ERG takes a 26-6 lead at the half and goes on to win 26-13, taking the class. C title. That's quite a way to finish out. In Class B, undefeated Batavia taking on Eastridge, who went winless last season. Start of the second quarter, no score. Christian Beeson punches it in at the goal line. Lancers up 8-6, eight, 8 zip, excuse me, at the break. Same score midway through the third. Fourth and two, Steven Massetta gets the first and a whole lot more. 28 yards for the touchdown. Lancers go up 15-0. After Eastridge recovered the ensuing kickoff, Benny Calixto to Dwayne Collins. Last week's Hail Mary duo gives the Lancers a 22-point lead. But the Blue Devils fight back. They go touchdown, onside kick, then Bronx Buholz to Justin Smith for the great score. We got a one-possession game at 22-14. Seven minutes left. Eastridge trying to put it to bed. But the throw into the end zone, picked off by Carter Mullen, gives his team the ball back with a chance to tie. But just three plays later, the throw to the sideline, Marion Bell says, gimme all of that. The grown man interception into the red zone, and just two plays later, the end around to Beeson for his second touchdown of the day, an impressive finish. Eastridge gets the victory 28-14, going from winless to champions in just a single year. We started this thing way back when I got the job in February. We started back in February, and we just kept pushing. Um, all offseason, we just preached, preached, preached that we can go out and compete with anybody. Um, and we felt like when we were playing our game and we can win the line of scrimmage, we can win games. I'm speechless. It's, it's a great feeling to do it with uh, the guys that I played with in the Junior Lancers, uh, the youth program. You know, we've been growing up. You know, we always won until, you know, last year. It's just great to win it with them. It means a lot because, like, 
We haven't won in 10 years, and then we went 0-8 last year, so to bring us back to the top of the Section 5, this just feels great. Now the Class D undefeated Avon looking to keep their perfect run going, but Alexander stands in their way. Scoreless first quarter, but Wesley Farley gets it started in the second. Rush up the middle to the end zone. Riverhawks out front 8 to nothing. Minute to go in the half. Cal Dolges keeps it, takes off, and dances his way all the way to the end zone. Riverhawks take a 15 to nothing lead at the half. Now in the third, Avon driving. Ball goes to Farley. He takes it outside and look at this stiff arm. Takes it down to around the three yard line and then he punches in the score up the middle. River Hawks now up 22 to zip. And here comes Dolgis. He does it again. Takes it himself to close out the scoring. Throws a few stiff arms in there too. Breaks some tackles and is in the end zone. Avon holds Alexander scoreless and takes the 28 to nothing victory in the Class D championship. Well, that will do it for us tonight and this season here on Football Frenzy. Thank you for making us your home for Section 5 football this year. We'd also like to thank our two photographers, Trinity Wilson and Liam Hoffman, for shooting games every week this year. We couldn't have brought you all the excitement without them. But we'll be following the teams all the way to the Dome. For Rachel Leibert, I'm AJ Feldman. Thanks for watching and have a great night.